If you've ever thought classical music sounds alien, try listening to it like an alien. And I mean that literally. Try to imagine what it would be like to experience classical music through an alien's ears. To do this, we're going to take an alien to a classical music concert. Hmm, well, let's at least pick one who's got a good sense of hearing. We'll take a Martian. So, hurry up, the concert is about to begin. What does he make of everything? Let's take a peek through those rather large eyes. On stage, a group of humans are making noises by blowing and banging different objects together. That human over there is scraping bits of horsehair over some sheep gut that's been stuck onto a bit of tree. Um, that's a violin, we tell our Martian. Maybe, our Martian shrugs, but scraping bits of animal on bits of wood to make a noise, this is hardly rocket science, a subject on which he's presumably better informed. Well, hang on, in fairness to our species, they're only tuning up. But even so, our Martian's right not to be intimidated. And this tells us something vitally important. Many of us approach classical music with far too much awe, reverence and respect. We hold it at some elevated status, too lofty for us. And yet, classical music is essentially a bunch of people banging and blowing and scraping bits of minerals, plants and dead animals together. We've been doing it for thousands of years and we've got pretty good at it. A violin is made from bits of tree and bits of sheep intestine, but a violin isn't made from any bits of tree, nor is it strings from any bit of sheep intestine. All the instruments of a classical orchestra are the results of hundreds, and in some cases thousands of years, of human design, craft and innovation. That means humans spending lifetimes across lifetimes crafting different sorts of musical instruments, developing them in different ways, all with the aim of creating the most interesting and pleasing noises. Classical music begins with a simple pleasure, enjoying the sound its instruments produce. Wherever you find the human race, you'll hear the same passion for banging, blowing or scraping objects together, wherever and whenever. We've been producing this stuff for eons. Who knows? Maybe the point we started making it was when we became recognisably human in the first place. Music is universal for our species. Every single culture and society on our planet makes music, every single one. Like language, music seems to be a fact of human nature, hardwired into our brains and replicated across the globe. But we digress, back to a concert hall. The lights dim, a hush falls on the audience. The human lifts his bit of tree into the air. Now. If our Martian wants to understand what being a human can be, he just needs to listen. Which he seems to be doing. He actually seems rather engrossed. At least I'm taking that slime coming out of his ears as a positive sign. It's not just the precision instruments, you see. It's also the music itself, because this isn't just any music. This is Bach. The idea of playing Bach to aliens is not as fanciful as you may think. In the 1970s, NASA convened a panel to discuss what would be the most appropriate sounds to send into outer space, in case it was picked up by an alien species. The biologist Lewis Thomas wrote a paper on the subject, which concluded, Perhaps the safest thing to do, if technology permits, is to send music. I would vote for Bach, all of Bach, streamed out into space over and over again. We would be bragging, of course, it's surely excusable for us to put the best possible face on at the beginning of such an acquaintance. We can tell the harder truths later. We are a juvenile species, and considering that this early on we managed to turn out uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, uh, I think we've done pretty well. So, classical music is mankind looking at its best. Well, Lewis Thomas is talking about more than just showing off. He goes on to say, this language may be the best we have for explaining what we are like to others in space with the least ambiguity. You see, music communicates very directly who we are, how we think, how we feel. And so it can explain to an alien, very simply and beautifully, what being human actually is. Complicated and important music seems to me to be one way of describing the way the mind works. I think it could well turn out to be the most profound of all our means of communication. NASA clearly agreed with Lewis Thomas. Currently hurtling away from us in space, some 4,000 million miles away, 
that some 1,500 million miles beyond Pluto's orbit are two Voyager space probes. Three, two, one. MDS, two, we have ignition, we have a liftoff. In 1977, NASA launched its Voyager spacecraft, two unmanned probes that were sent to meet many of the planets before careening off into deep space. On both probes, there's a laser disc fixed to the body of the craft, imprinted with selected sounds and images of Earth and humanity, just in case an alien happens upon it. A kind of audio-visual hallmark greeting card from NASA. And on that laser disc, there's also a piece of music by J.S. Bach. And not just any piece, Bach played by Arthur Grimaud, the music we're listening to now. Which brings us to the reason we brought our alien to this concert. Sure, given the complete works of Shakespeare, but how long will that take to translate? Or try the Great Pyramids, if you can fit them in a spaceship. And anyway, are they really going to say something about what we are like as humans? But at this concert, listening to the Bach, you can instantaneously hear the very best of what it is to be human, communicated directly through harmonic sound. So, don't get intimidated by classical music. It's not an insolvable quadratic differential equation. It's not a foreign language. It's not an impenetrable mystery. Think, first of all, like our alien. It's music made by blowing, scraping, or banging bits of things we found on this planet. It's been crafted with love and insight, all for the purpose of harmonic gratification. A man rubbing horse hair over pig gut stretched over a tree. It's something we humans have been doing for thousands of years. Music is our humanity. It's what we do best. It's what we enjoy most. And we always need to listen, like our alien, with fresh ears. That means less worrying about what classical music means and more on how it sounds. Above all, concentrate on how the music sounds. Treat this like a voyage of discovery and enjoy the trip. (laughs) 